Since we wish to describe the economy's money market, we now turn to the supply of real money balances. Recall from Tutorial 7 that money is the sum of currency outside banks and people's bank deposits. Recall also that the main channel through which the central bank supplies money to the economy is via supplying commercial banks with bank liquidity in the form of currency. Currency that the banks lend to the public starts a money multiplier process that generates an increase in people's holdings of currency and bank deposits, that is, in people's money holdings. Further increases in the supply of bank liquidity from the central bank starts new multiplier processes and generates new increases in people's money holdings. As a central bank tightening of bank liquidity reduces people's money holdings. So, via the commercial banks and the multiplier process, the central bank supplies the economy with money. But how is the money supply determined? In practice, there are many considerations behind the central bank supply of money, considerations we won't attempt to capture in our model. Thus, we assume that in this model the money supply is exogenous, m bar, that is, the money supply doesn't vary with the nominal interest rate. Rather, the supply curve for real money balances is vertical at m bar over p. Now we reintroduce the demand curve for real money balances, as in this graph of the economy's money market. Here the central bank determines the supply of real money balances, leaving it to market forces to generate the interest rate that makes interest earnings foregone from holding a money supply of m bar over p sub 1 acceptable to people. So the central bank adjusts the real money supply to generate a desired, but market-driven, target interest rate. However, Recall that the demand curve for real money balances is drawn for a given transaction's volume, real GDP or Y. If Y increases, the money demand curve shifts to the right, increasing the equilibrium interest rate. So to maintain a given interest rate when Y increases, the central bank must increase the money supply, and vice versa if Y decreases. 